This is a pretty uh, remarkable story. The Miami Marlins hiring Kim Ang as their new general manager. Now, why this is such a big deal is that she is Major League Baseball's first female general manager. Dan Roberts, of course, following this beat for us. And Dan, I know you got the, the chance to talk to Kim. What did she have to say just in terms of not only attaining this title, but what she wants to do with it? Yeah, Shauna, that's what I wanted to know. Uh, of course, everyone's talking about how this is a historic first not just the first female MLB G GM, but the first Asian American MLB GM. So yesterday there was a media availability with Kim Ang, everyone asking about how she feels uh, achieving this finally, but a lot of people also pointing out, why did it take so long? Uh, she first interviewed for a GM job 15 years ago. She has worked in baseball for 30 years. She was assistant GM at the Yankees and won three World Series rings. But I asked her what she wants to accomplish for the business because the Marlins, uh, there's a lot to fix at that organization. Here's what she said. I think from a business perspective, um, I want to be out there more in the community. And you know, like I mentioned in my opening remarks, I want, I want the Marlins to be seen as a pillar of the community. So I will be out there at different functions um, you know, to make sure that people understand uh, who we are, where we're going, and, um, you know, and you know, where we want to take this organization. Yeah, in terms of you know, in terms of the upcoming season, I mean, that's really just going to be, you know, pending COVID and, and vaccines and, and where we end up on that, on that issue. So um, that is yet to be determined, but I think the folks at MLB are, are looking at all the different avenues uh, that we could be heading down in the next six months. And guys, uh, when she alludes to, I think, what she wants to change with the organization, you know, obviously her priority as GM is winning. They want to win on the field. And uh, this season was a good start because the Marlins uh, made the playoffs ending the longest NL playoff drought streak. So things really looking out there. Don Mattingly just, just won NL Manager of the Year. But, you know, prior to that, a lot of criticism among baseball media of this organization. You know, Derek Jeter was uh, leading the group that bought it three years ago. He immediately implemented a record-setting fire sale. They traded off a lot of the star players, including John Carlos Stanton and Christian Yelich. And actually, just last year, Sports Illustrated, in a ranking of the 10 most hopeless franchises, put the Marlins third. The Marlins also, in 2019, had the worst attendance of all MLB franchises. So I think Kim Ang has her job uh, cut out for her, but she is the person for the job. She's certainly no stranger, as you point out, 30 plus years, but I am curious, uh, the players, is she going to face any kind of, you know, it wouldn't be public, but any kind of uh, perhaps disrespect from players who are like, no. I highly doubt it, Adam. You know, uh, assistant GM at the Yankees. She also just recently was working at MLB front office. She has worked for so many teams, knows people everywhere. I think if anything, the question everyone has is terrific to see this first, terrific to see the achievement. But why did it take team so long? So good on the Marlins, good on Kim Ang. Let's see how it goes. Certainly did take them way too long, but at least she did it and did uh, finally get that title after more than 30 years, Dan, like you're saying, not only becoming the first woman, but the first Asian American to become a general manager in Major League Baseball. So I certainly am excited to see what she does with the team. All right, Dan Roberts, thanks so much for joining us with that.